Hey, what's up everybody? This is Alex Molina93 here. Today is my recent pickups episode number 9. Plus the Christmas gifts I got. Hope you guys had a very good Christmas and I wish you a happy new year. I want to show you all the stuff that I got throughout 2020 before the year ends to start fresh in 2021. And yes, I'm still wearing the green shirt since I still have the Christmas spirit. To me, it's Christmas. It's still Christmas till December 31st. Call me crazy, but that's how I behave and I have a Christmas spirit. That's how I am. <laughs> so without further ado, so let's get started, shall we? First that I want to show you is this 32 inch HD television of Vizio, the smart TV. I want to have a new TV right now because the 24 inch TV that I got in the past, I mean, it was kind of difficult to see the screen in that spot. And you know, for me, it's about time to get a newer television. Back then, I was afraid that a 32 inch television wouldn't fit on that spot. Like I was saying to you in my room tour that I uploaded lately, recently, and I'm glad that it fits very well and my HDTV looks very nice. And you guys are wondering what resolution has is the 1080p it has a 1080p resolution and I'm so happy that I got it the other cool things that I want to show you are these devices right here RetroTink 2x Pro and RetroTink 2x Pro multi-format these devices are amazing if you're looking for plug-and-play devices to play your retro consoles on your HD modern televisions those are your solutions multiple formats that you can output on your display and also the other options like the smoothing filter the scan lines you name it and also formats of composite as video and component and you can play your retro consoles in a very good way no lag whatsoever these things are amazing and i suggest you check them out you may never heard of them but you have to check out on the RetroTink website to look for these devices. They can be kind of expensive, but they're worth it. Don't worry about it. Look at the pixelated bunnies. They look so cute. The other thing that I have for my gaming setup is this M cable right here. This thing is quite impressive. This thing is mostly used for your retro consoles and some of the HD systems like the Xbox 360, PS3, Wii U, the Nintendo Switch, and perhaps the PS4 and Xbox One. Kinda. But this is mostly used for retro consoles, basically. I mean, if you have the older consoles, this thing right here, it can fix the pixelated images for your video games. And it, they look so much better with this thing. If you have a 4K TV, it can output 1440p. And if you only have current consoles, current gen consoles like the PS4, or Xbox One, and most recently the PS5 and Xbox Series, um, this is not highly re recommended. But if you have the older systems and the Nintendo Switch, this is highly recommended. It, it can fix the pixelated images. And this thing right here is quite impressive for what it offers. And I'm happy with it. <laughs> Okay, let's have some fun right here with some cool plushies that I got recently. Say hello to Conquer the Squirrel, the king of all the land right here, with his money and his little crown right here. You barely see a Conquer merchandise lately because Microsoft are not doing anything with the franchise. And we Conquer fans, we do everything possible to support the character and the franchise itself. Conquer's Bad Fur Day, great game. And it, it is cool to have a Conquer plushie right here. It, look, it looks cool. I mean, look at him. So detailed. And the cool thing about this is that he talks. You press on his belly and he talks. Listen. Hey, put me down. Okay, okay, calm down. Uh, how would you like it if I squeezed you? I don't know. It would be kind of funny. <laughs> Let's see what you can say more. Catch you later. You can buy me a pipe. Yeah. Another cool plushie that I got, it's right behind me, is this animated Grinch plushie riding on a tricycle right here. 
I got this at Home Depot. He looks very cool. This is very cool to have as a Christmas ornament and because I love Grinch and you know Grinch is one of the most iconic characters of all time and one of the most iconic characters throughout the Christmas season and this is very cool to have. And the cool thing about this animated plushie is that you press this G letter right here on his foot and he plays a song, the very mean one, Mr. Grinch, and he's animated. Next, the Blu-ray movies. There are very few, but I'll show you real quick. First, Sonic the Hedgehog. I love this movie so much. It's about time we are getting some good movies based on video games that are that are actually enjoyable to watch because most of them they suck and this is one of the exceptions right here and this is one of the movies that i highly recommend you check you check it out it is very very entertaining very fun to watch and you know you may have some good laughs because jim carrey is on it and you know most of the actors and the sonic design I really did enjoy. What can I say? Next, the Invisible Man right here. I'm not a huge fan of horror movies, mostly. I mean, call me crazy, but you know, to me it's kind of boring to wait for something to scare you a lot. That's why I'm not into them, but I like the concept of the Invisible Man right here. I mean, this is supposedly a reboot. And you know, this is very enjoyable to watch, very thrilling, and you know, this is where a very well made movie right here. I highly recommend if you like horror movies like The Invisible Man right here. And the final Blu-ray movie that I got recently, you mean you may not heard this before. It is Ben Affleck's The Way Back. A man who inspires the basketball players throughout the movie right here. I mean, I did enjoy for for what it is. I mean, what happens to this man right here, Ben Affleck, who portrayed Batman in Batman vs. Superman and Justice League. I mean, for what he did in this, I mean, it's very impressive for his acting. And, you know, I... I'm, I was very, very intrigued by, by the story of this movie right here. I mean, it, it can be boring at times, but mostly the movie is pretty, it's pretty good for what it is. I mean, I can understand that you may not like the drama movies like The Way Back, but I suggest if you like them. Now, the CD albums that I got recently. There are a few, but I'll show you quickly. Prince, Sino, The Times. This is a pretty good album. I've been hearing Prince lately because of Michael Jackson. He's the inspiration of Michael Jackson, and he's not that bad of an artist for what he was. And you know, this is a pretty good album. This is basically the remastered version of Sino, The Times. And I suggest that you check it out if you like the pop music, which I'm not a huge fan of, but there are some pop songs that I like from some artists. I mean, not all of them, but for some. And The Prince, pretty good. Next album, Green Day, Father of All, da, 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 da. you guys know what this is called. Pretty decent album. Not as good as Dookie, neither The American Idiot, and neither some of the previous albums that Green Day has released throughout the years. But this is a pretty decent album from what I've heard. I mean, you can check this out if you want to. I mean, what can I say? A unicorn throwing up. Which, this is very crazy though. <laughs> Next, Kate Urban, The Speed of Now, Part 1. Pretty decent album. Some people say that I look like Kate, Kate Urban. I cannot blame them because I do look like Kate Urban, don't I? <laughs> so yeah, I mean, this is a pretty, pretty good album from what I've heard. This is his most recent album. If you want to check it out, of course, I mean, 
you cannot miss this out. The most recent album that I got, the last one right here, Metallica and San Francisco Symphony right here. This is basically the album of all the original songs with the symphony tone on them. I mean, they were nice from what I've heard, but the original versions are so much better, obviously. <laughs> but this is not that bad of an album. I mean, if you like the symphony tones and if you like Metallica, this is for you, I guess. But you know, this is nice from what I've heard, but the original songs all the way. <laughs> but this is not that bad. Now let's get to the video games. First, the Super Nintendo games that I got recently. First one, Super Golds and Ghosts. Good game, but it can be very difficult. But I can say that this is way more tolerable than the NES one, because that one was very, very hard. Ghosts and Goblins. But this one right here, I see it more enjoyable than Ghosts and Goblins. Pretty good game, but it can be difficult. Next one that I got, and I finally got to play this game, and I never had a chance to play this game back in the day, and I finally got it, and you may be surprised by this. Chrono Trigger, baby. Yeah. I wanted to play this game for such a long time, and I finally got a chance to play it. I love the art style, reminding me of Dragon Ball, basically the character designer, the one who created the Dragon Ball franchise, Akira Toriyama, and I love the gameplay elements of Chrono Trigger, I like the combat system, I mean, it gets very interesting the way more you play it, and you know, I, I'm so happy that I got this for my Super Nintendo and I have heard nothing but great things about this game and from, from what I've been playing it gets very very interesting and I assure you that this is very rare to have and, and I got lucky to have this so good luck on finding this game because this is an amazing game and if you're lucky enough congratulations next the PS4 games first Mortal Kombat XL this is way better than Mortal Kombat 11, in my opinion. This is way more fast-paced and it is a lot of fun. And I suggest you get this version because it has all the DLC characters, all the DLC content. And this, you know, this is one of the good Mortal Kombat games that you can get nowadays. And it is very cheap to get. And you know, if you're a Mortal Kombat fan, you cannot go wrong with this. Next. Doom Eternal. I got this at Black Friday on Walmart.com and I finally got this in a very cheap way. I'm really liking this way more than Doom 4 in my opinion. I mean despite having more platforming sections and being more storytelling this game is pretty good and I suggest that you pick this up if you like shooters and if you like Doom as well. Ghost of Tsushima, great game. I love this game so much. I love the Japanese tradition of samurais and you know Sucker Punch did an amazing job with this game. And it's about time they made a new IP and they're doing something else besides Sly Cooper and Infamous games. And you know, Ghost of Tsushima, great game. I've been enjoying this game so far, so good nothing but great things about this if you're looking something fresh to play and if you like action adventure games i highly recommend you pick this up great game tony hawk's pro skater one and two i love to tony hawk games back in the day i mean the fifth one wasn't that good but they redeemed themselves with this those are the remaster versions of one and two obviously but this is made for Tony Hawk fans like myself and you know Tony Hawk's Pro Skater games 1 through 4 are amazing. What can I say? It's about time. 
and it's about time that we got Crash Bandicoot 4. This is just as good as the Crash games made by Naughty Dog and this game is very enjoyable. I like all the new stuff they added to this game and you can play as the other characters besides Crash and Coco. And you know, I love this game. I'm, I mean, it's about time that we are getting more 3D platformers nowadays. And I'm so happy that we got more 3D platformers like Crash 4 right here. A few were Xbox One games that I got recently. Ori and the Will of the Wisps. This is a sequel of Ori and the Blind Forest. Great sequel. And if you like Metroidvania games, I highly suggest that you check this out. This is available on the Xbox One, obviously, PC, and also the Nintendo Switch. This game is incredible. You need to check this out. It is amazing. I can assure you that. And, oh, and also I got this at Black Friday in a very cheaper way. And the other one that I got in a very cheaper way at Black Friday, and I'm glad that I got it way cheaper because this is not worth 60 bucks for me. Resident Evil 3 Remake. I have not played this as of yet, but this is a remake of a classic game, obviously. And you know, I want to try this out one of these days when I get a chance. And I'm glad I got this in a very cheaper way because no way I'm going to spend, I was going to spend this game 60 bucks. Not worth it. I mean, for the play time that this game has. I mean, that's just me though. Now the Nintendo Switch games. First, Trials of Mana. I want to try this game out because I love Secret of Mana on the Super Nintendo and this is a sequel of it. And this is obviously a remake. If you want to try out the Super Nintendo version one, you can try it out on Collection of Mana that is on digital or on the physical form. And I want to try out the, the remake because I want to play something fresh and this is very convenient for newcomers. The ones who have never heard of Trials of Mana and this is a pretty good remake from what I've been playing and you know, this is a classic game that you should try it out if you like RPGs. Streets of Rage 4. I love Streets of Rage games and it's about time the franchise has came back. This game is amazing. I highly recommend you check this out if you like beat em up games. This has a comic book art style and it has some cool, cool stuff into it. I mean, I highly recommend you check this out. I mean, Street to Rage 4 is on any platform you like. I mean, it doesn't matter. They all run the same, the same anyway. Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. This is one of my favorite games of all time, one of my favorite RPGs ever made. I love this game so much. It is my favorite Wii game back then and you know, I'm glad they re-released this on the Nintendo Switch. I mean, it may not be perfect, but it is worth it for the RPG lovers who have not played this game as of yet. And then it has some new stuff and obviously um, newer graphics. And it has epilogue on it. And you have never played Xenoblade Chronicles. Do yourself a favor and check this game out if you like RPGs in general. Obviously, Super Mario 3D All Stars. It is a collection of 3D Marios. It has Super Mario 64, Sunshine, and Galaxy. The one that is missing the most is Super Mario Galaxy 2. It is strange that that game is missing. I mean, those games were not made from the ground up, they're just ports. I'm disappointed that they haven't built from the ground up, um, they haven't remade Super Mario 64 and Sunshine the most. I mean, Galaxy looks good enough, no need for it, but for Mario 64 and Sunshine, they should have been remade from the ground up, but that's the way how they are right now. I mean. If you have never played these great games right here in this collection, 
you have a chance right now because this game is not going to be available um, starting at March 31st. So hurry up and get this game before before it's not in the stores anymore next year. And what are you waiting for? You should get this game if you have not played these games at all. Now to the Christmas gifts. The only Nintendo Switch game that I got, the only video game that I got for Christmas, Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. I wanted this game because it is kin to Zelda Breath of the Wild in terms of story and some of the cool stuff this game offers. You know, who would imagine a, Hy a Hyrule Warriors game that takes a hundred years ago before the main game? You know, this is my first Dynasty Warriors game, obviously. I mean, of course, this Dynasty Warriors is going to be very repetitive, very repetitive in terms of combat, but it is a very enjoyable game. It is a fan service game that you won't, you, you don't want, you don't want to miss out. And speaking of Zelda, the boss key keychain of the Legend of Zelda right here. It looks very cool. It is very nice to have it and I'll put it with my car keys, obviously. And I have this Yoshi on his card from Mario Kart. This looks very cool to have and I'll put it on my display uh, and somewhere else uh, on my room. It is cool to have this as well. Well, I got this for Christmas as well, the, the Hollister deodorant, uh, the so-called Hollister deodorant, right here. And yes, it smells so good, and it is nice to have this. <sighs> it smells so good. And from the clothes, this cool outfitters of the American Eagle right here. The other one right here, the red one. The other outfitter from the Express right here. I'll wear this when I'm at the party, but not right now, because in the world, we are right now. You guys know what I'm talking about. And this cool pajamas of Hollister, right here. And at the bottom as well. That is all my recent pickups, episode number nine, people. Hope you guys enjoy it. And let's see what else we got for next year it comes. And again, hope you guys had a good Christmas and a happy new year, guys. So let's see what we got for next year. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Make sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos to come for you guys enjoy. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and a like button below. And comment in a section below what do you guys think about my recent pickups lately. If you like it or not, it is your choice. So, thank you so much for watching. Have a nice day. Peace. Just like that.